How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be part 8 of our anime collection that we have so far. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So this one's going to be on another row of Blu-rays. So first up we have Osamu Tezuka's Metropolis. This is an awesome, awesome film. This is the uh, new edition by uh, Mill Creek. Uh, it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. It's a steelbook. With some effects on it. It's very, very nice. I did do a video on it along with the uh, regular DVD edition, the uh, original old release. And uh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant movie. I think this is still in print. Um, and as far as I know, this is the only way to get it on Blu-ray. I'm not sure there's another regular edition. I haven't seen one, so it's only been uh, this one. So uh, yeah, I think you can find it on their site. And I think... Right stuff and Amazon have it. So yeah, really cool film. Next up we have the Mondo Steelbook of the original Ghost in the Shell film. Uh, I'm going to eventually show all the movies. And so this is a beautiful steelbook. This is amazing. Amazing artwork. Uh, Mondo, uh, we have a couple of their um, steelbooks and they're just amazing. Really, really nice artwork. And, uh, of course, Ghost in the Shell, the original film, a classic. Um, and, yeah. The only thing with this one, this doesn't have any extras either, as far as I recall. Um, yeah, it's been, like, a big thing. But it still looks good on Blu-ray. And it is getting a 4K edition now. So, be interesting to see that. This one, I think, is still in print. But I would probably look around for it. Look for a good price. This one, uh, next up, is Elfin Lee, the Collector's Edition. Uh, this is a very, very nice set. You get, like, a booklet, and it is also a steelbook. So, yeah, uh, there's been some more um, anime in general, like movies and some series that I've been getting. Um, well, now I'm starting to see a little bit more of the series uh, getting steelbook editions, and uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, also seen uh, a couple more 4Ks, and uh, yeah, Elfin Lead is a really good series, and I'm uh, also collecting, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm also collecting, sorry about that, <laughs> uh, the uh, manga, which got a re-release, so all I'm missing is the last volume, and then um, yeah, I'll eventually be showing that along with this, so yeah, Elfin Lead, um, I think I think this is still in print, but it can be quite high. Uh, also, I'm not sure there's a regular... There was a regular Blu-ray edition. I'm not sure that's still in print. And there was like an old DVD, uh, like, like ADV release. So yeah, you happen to find it for a good price, pick it up. And next up is one that I did do a video for. Show the DVDs and the Blu-rays. And that is the Steelbook Editions of Yu Yu Hakusho. So there's volume one. There's volume two. There's three. And there is four. Really, really nice sets. Um, and the Blu-ray editions look very nice. Uh, especially for, you know, an older show. Uh, looks great. Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, classic show. And, uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Um, there are the older Blu-rays, and then you have these ones. These are, like, the re-releases that came out. And, uh, yeah, they're all out. So, really cool. All right, next up, uh, I got an older, older classic here, Speed Racer. I did do a video on this along with the uh, uh, DVDs. Did two separate videos. This is a really nice set. You can get this for really, really cheap. Uh, I saw it as low as like $12, $10, $12. $12. Uh, went on sale like in store or online. So yeah, Speed Racer. Looks good on Blu-ray too. Looks very, very good. I want to say there's a DVD version uh, like this. Same cover, same thing. Just uh, you get to pick one or the other. And uh, there was like a big old set. Uh, I'm not sure that's still in print. But uh, yeah, Speed Racer. Next up, we have the Anime Classics Edition, the Blu-ray version of Noir. 
This is a really cool series. Uh, this was made alongside, um, so it's from the director of Mad Lax and El Cazador de la Bruja, which we do have. All three of these series, uh, I think they're part of the, um, what's it called? The Girls with Guns trilogy. Um, and, you know, you all these, like, you know, these different organizations. And one of the key things with each of these series is figuring out, you know, their past. Uh, like the main characters, protagonists, and even antagonists, you know, what what did they do in their past that led them to where they are now, in a way. Uh, all three series are really good, so I will get to uh, Mad Lax and uh, uh, De La Bruja as well. So this, um, I think is still available. There was like a thin pack set that I had, uh, but then I found this. Also, uh, Save Space, and uh, looks pretty good on Blu-ray too. It is an older series, but uh, looks great. And uh, there is a DVD version of this as well. It's one of those where you have to pick one or the other. Next up we have Ghost in the Shell, the new movie. This was the, the latest film that came out uh, a while back. And uh, I believe there's like another series now. Is it 20 something? Ghost in the Shell 2040 something I think is what it was. Or it might have been 50 something, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the new movie. Uh, this was pretty good, pretty interesting. Uh, I remember uh, reading about it when it came out, and uh, this was promoted everywhere. <laughs> or, well, well, at least where I saw it. A lot of trailers, previews, and uh, yeah, this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Um, I think it's just like this. Uh, I don't think there's a regular DVD version of it, or yeah. So the new movie. And next up, we have the OVA series of Ghost in the Shell Arise. So this is pretty much like a um, prequel to Standalone Complex and pretty much uh, like the original film too because it's pretty much like a young uh, Kusanagi and you get to see her form. You get to see the formation of Section 9 and uh, there you see Bato. And yeah, this was um, pretty good. These I found used for really, really cheap. Uh, both parts, which was uh, also pretty good. That way I didn't have to look for one and only have uh, part one or two by themselves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Arise. Both parts. And uh, I'm not sure if these are still available. I want to say they are. Uh, I think even new, they're not too expensive depending on where you look. So yeah, just do be careful about pricing. Next up we have, I still have this in the plastic, just to help protect it. Expelled from Paradise. A limited edition. This I saw uh, a preview, or no, I think it was a full-on trailer for um, this film at a uh, convention we went to uh, years back. And uh, yeah, this is an Aniplex release, or excuse me, Aniplex <laughs> release. Uh, sorry about that. This I got at the convention uh, eventually later on. Uh, we went to another one uh, when it officially came out and got it for pretty cheap, considering. Um, I did sell some stuff before going, so I used some of that to, uh, you know, get some stuff. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool film. Um, it's pretty much all CG. You do have 2D in there. Um, but yeah. Really good film. I think this is still available. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've looked this one up. Just to see. Yeah. Next up we have Robotics Notes. I did have... I One of my first few videos, I did show this. Along with uh, Steins Gate. Uh, and I had both parts separately. But then this came back in the print. Um... Because I think it was out of print at the time, or yeah, it was pretty expensive, and I caught it on Right Stuff's uh, holiday sale one year and got it for a really good deal. Because I really wanted the art box for this; it's really nice. So yeah, robotics notes: uh, building giant, you know, building a giant robot, you know, trying to make your dreams come true, and yeah, a bunch of other stuff happens too. Really cool series. Uh, the art box, I think, it's still available, and I think it's still. Available in two parts, and I want to say there's an essentials set for this now. So yeah, you can't get this all in one like regular uh, Blu-ray case. So that's good. 
Next up is one I did do a video for along with the complete uh, manga version of Princess Jellyfish. This is a really cool series, really funny. I uh, love the story with this and the manga is pretty good too. Um, yeah, I did a video for this a while back. Princess Jellyfish, uh, this set in particular I believe is long out of print now. Uh, there is a save edition for it. And uh, yeah, so you can still get this. Princess Jellyfish, I highly recommend it and the manga as well. Alright, so next up is Aesthetica of a Rogue Hero. It's a pretty cool series, pretty fun. Uh, action, uh, adventure, and uh, just a lot of... Wait, what is going on? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool series, really fun. Um, this set I found secondhand. Um, it was for pretty cheap, it wasn't too high. And it was the complete series, had all of it. Um, I think there is, I don't know, there's a save edition for this. I want to say there's another set for it. But, uh, yeah, if you happen to find it, good price to pick it up. Really good. And next up, I did show the complete manga for this. And I will be showing, uh, this eventually in its entirety, like showing all the, uh, inserts. Prison School. I remember when this was being promoted and it was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> this looks nuts. And this guy's face shows it all. Like, what? What? It's literally a prison in a school. And it's just... But there's a lot more to that. This is a really cool series. There's some messed up stuff that happens in here. Including the manga. Uh, prison School. Now, this came with a box. This is something weird. Uh, Funimation is doing these sets... Where uh, even Code Geass, the limited edition one, had a separate box that was uh, sealed to the back of it that contained a poster. Instead of just, you know, making the box bigger to fit it. So, yeah, we do have that. So, eventually I will show this. Prison School. Uh, there is a... I'm not sure there's an essential set to this yet. Um, but I want to say there is another edition for it that you can get besides this one. So, yeah. Prison School. Okay, so next up we're getting into more of the uh, bigger sets in a little bit. Armed Girls, I hope I'm saying this right, Machiavelism? I, <laughs> I might have butchered that, I do apologize. Uh, this is a really cool series. A uh, guy, uh, you know, with a past, he goes to this school and uh, everybody is armed. Literally, uh, swords, blades... Batons, uh, whips. <laughs> it's freaking weird. Uh, so this is the limited edition one. There is a regular, uh, Blu-ray version for it. Comes with, like, a booklet and some cards. Uh, but this series is really fun. Now, apparently there is a manga or... It's a manga or... No, I think it is a manga because you actually get, uh, like a little bit of a, uh, a, a little story in here from it. So, hopefully that comes out here, like, gets translated, because I'd be interested in reading that. I'm not sure if that's still going or not, but, uh, yeah. Arm Girls, this is pretty fun. Next up we have, now this one does have a DVD version of it. This was kind of a weird set. Uh, this is Sekirei, Pure Engagement, which is actually the second season, but it does come with... The original Sekirei. Uh, this was... I found this at a Half Price Books. And they have some sets where they got both versions. And they, both versions and they just combined them in the art box. It was kind of weird. <laughs> but they sold it as one whole set. Which is cool. So yeah, the first season um, is available on Blu-ray. Now, I think this show is long out of print though. Um, now that I think about it. Yeah, I want to say it is. So there's Pure Engagement. There's also a uh, manga as well. I think the manga has been over, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, Sekirei is kind of like a battle series. You have like this competition in a way. And this guy, you know, finds this girl. And it's like, wait, what is going on? <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool, uh, fun series. You know, if you find it for a good deal. Uh, this set, I think, is long out of print. So yeah, definitely be careful. Uh, pricing. 
Okay, we're getting down to the last few here for part, uh, what is this, eight? <laughs> so, next up is The Troubled Life of Miss Katora, or I believe this is also known as Katora-san, um, when this came out. This is a, man, how do I describe this? It's a fun series with some comedic aspects. You have drama, you have mystery, and there's tragedy in here, in a way. Uh, or, well, there's a lot of messed up stuff that happens in here. It is a very troublesome show, like the word troubled here. It really, it really, she really does have a troubled life. Uh, and this is her right here, the main one. And there's tragic things that happen in here. There's some messed up stuff. Like, right in the beginning, the first episode, it's like, wait, what? And, uh, but this is really good. This is the only set that I found available for this. It, I got this off of Right Stuff. Not sure if it's still there, uh, because that was, like, years back. So, hopefully it's still available, because this, this, I thought, was a really good series. Uh, I remember reading about it, and, uh, yeah, checking it out. I'm glad I did. Really good show. Next up is, uh, Kamisama Kiss, the Goddess Edition. For season one. This comes with some nice goodies and stuff. Uh, you have Blu-ray and DVD. And like DVD sized cases. And uh, this is pretty cool. Pretty fun. Kind of like a shoujo. Uh, you know you have like a love story. And then here's the two main characters. You know they battle it out. But then they help each other. <laughs> uh, but this is pretty fun. So this is the Goddess Edition. There is a essential set for it. Should be now. Because there is an Essentials Edition of Season 2, which I do have right here. So yeah, both of these should be available in this style now. So, yeah, Season 2, pretty good too. Pretty good too. I think I said two, three times. <laughs> pretty good also. Alright, and it's a Blu-ray and digital. Yeah, um, notice uh, a lot of these are getting digital uh, copies with them now. So, yeah, a lot of anime series getting that now. Next up is the limited edition of Squid Girl. This is a funny, funny show. This is a, uh, the episodes are like three, what is it? Is it two or three shorts pretty much put together per episode? Like you have two or three different segments and it is hilarious. Uh, this is, really, so you have Squid Girl here and she's, you know, she comes to the surface world, try to take over and just a bunch of comedy ensues. It, it is great. Really funny. Um, there is a regular edition of this as well. So yeah, this should be available. This is by Sun Sentai uh, Filmworks. And down to the last two here. Next up we have, there's another, oh, this is an NIS America uh, series. A Lull in the Sea, or release that is. So you have NIS and Aniplex. Uh, they're both known for being very, very high priced. Uh, this is a premium edition. You get the soundtrack, Blu-ray. Um, you get the... Uh, so the series is on three disc. Uh, you get a booklet, hardcover, soundtrack. Very nice. This is a beautiful looking show. Absolutely beautiful. The animation in here is amazing. Uh, you have like these people live underwater. It's like a whole civilization. And you have people, you know, from the surface, and it is awesome. Very, very cool show. And uh, this set, I think, is out of print, though. It might be by now. There are these standard editions that you can't get, which I think is just the cases, like, themselves. So, yeah. I believe it's, like, two of them, I think. And, yeah, Alone in the Sea. Beautiful show. And last up is a comedy that I still have the manga for. Uh, it is still going. I got the latest volume, so eventually I gotta do a manga, or I'm thinking of doing a manga collection update as well. And that is Monster Musume, Everyday Life of Monster Girls, the limited edition. This is by Sentai of Filmworks. This went out of print super fast. Super quick. Um... They're covered. It's not... Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> but this is a band that goes up and down. And just kind of holds it together. Uh, this is a pretty cool set. Get some nice uh, posters and stuff. Soundtrack. And uh, this is a really cool comedy. Uh, I'm reading the manga currently. 
And uh, it's just really fun. This guy, this world is interesting. So you have monster girls that exist. And they have, there's people that, you know, take them in, take care of them. And you follow this guy and all the ones that, well, you see the main one that he's with, who's right here. But then he eventually meets others. And <laughs> there's more and more comedy ensues. But it's a really cool, fun story. Monster Musume. Pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Oh, so there is a regular Blu-ray edition of this. And there should be, I think there was a DVD version as well. So, because this set in particular. Oh, there's also a Steelbook edition that just came out with this. Along with, uh, I think, No Game, No Life. I think Clan Ad's getting a Steelbook. Your Name's getting a Steelbook. So, yeah. Really cool. All right. So, that does it for part eight of our anime collection that we have so far. So let's go ahead and display some of these. All right. Yeah, display some of the bigger sets. I might change the picture. All right. Turn that around. Okay, all the good together. So yeah, that does it for part eight. Have you guys seen any of these series, movies, OVAs? As usual, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys next time.